In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Cyclone 3DR to do analysis of precast concrete forms before you pour your concrete. Let's get into it. I'm going to start by creating a new project within Cyclone 3DR. I'm simply then going to drag and drop my data that I've scanned, in this instance in LGS file format. I'm going to convert that data down so that I can run my analysis on it. Once my data has been converted and imported, the next step is to then import our 3D model that we can use for analysis. To do this, I'm simply going to drag and drop the IFC file directly in to my 3DR workspace. I can select the items that I want to import and then import that directly into my project. You'll see here that they are not lined up, so I'm going to use the endpoint registration with the point cloud selected to match up the two items. I can simply select three minimum corresponding points on my point cloud and the three matching points on my IFC model. Once I've done that, I can hit preview to show what it's going to look like. Here we can see my deviation errors are quite high, but I'm not worried about that just yet. I'm going to OK this, and by selecting both of my objects by holding down Shift and Drag, I'm going to use the best fit to let the computer analyse which best fits together. I'm going to preview this, and you will see here that I see the values of how far it has moved my data. I'm going to click OK, and I now have these two items perfectly joined together. To do my analysis, I'm going to select both my objects, go to my Analysis tab, and I'm going to run a Cloud versus BIM to analyze this data. I'm going to use a max distance of 10 millimeters and preview that data. From here, it's quite hard to see what's wrong, so I'm going to edit my colors and use a preset that I have saved for a tolerance value of 5 millimeters. Now I can easily see what data is within my 5 mil tolerance, what data is above or below that tolerance. To get more values, I'm simply going to use the measure deviation tool to label the deviations that I've found. I'm going to hit OK, and now I want to generate my report. I'm going to navigate my view so that it looks like something that I want in a report. I'm going to update my report, and then I'll open my report editor. To make it easier to view, I'm going to change my labels to small and move my histogram to the left. On my table below, I'm simply going to turn off the data that I do not want to see. I'm now left with a report that I can rename and then deliver out as a PDF as my end deliverable. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.